Hey, don't go away because today we're talking about socializing your aggressive dog. I'm Denise Mazzola, this is Gio. Welcome to Everything Dogs YouTube channel where we produce a weekly video where we talk about dog behavior, behavior modification, and training. Today's topic is socializing the aggressive dog. Before I go any further, I want to say one thing and I want you to hear this really clearly. The lack of socializing your dog did not cause your dog's aggression. I'm going to say it one more time. The lack of social, socializing your dog did not cause your dog's aggression. There's a lot of things that go into the cause of a dog's aggression. I'm not going to get into all of that. This is a really deep, complicated topic, but I just want to address socializing your aggressive dog. One thing, let's, in my mind, the definition of socializing means a puppy. Eight weeks to maybe six months or seven months, you know, maybe a little bit longer than that. And there's all sorts of studies about that. That's just my definition. Socializing is something that you want to do with young dogs. You want to have fun, short exposures with your young dogs. You want to show them the world, right? You want to show them cars and sirens and downtown traffic and wherever it is that you go in your course. If you go on a vacation, you want your puppy and your dog to be able to go there. So socializing means, again, in my opinion, in my definition, is the young dog that you are taking to multiple places so they have exposure to the world. After all, you don't, you know, you don't keep your kids home until they're 10 and then you finally take them outside and say, hey, here's the world, right? They'd freak out. And the same thing would happen with your puppy. We get asked all the time about socializing my aggressive dog. How do I socialize my aggressive dog? And I'm like, eh. So we're not going to be talking about socializing. We're really talking about exposures. And those exposures have three S's, safe, short, and slow. So if you have identified that your dog, whether it's your puppy or your dog, is afraid of other dogs. Maybe they're barking, lunging at the end of their leash. Maybe they're afraid of people. So they could be doing the same thing. You may be having troubles when you're bringing dogs in, or sorry, when you're bringing people into your home, your dog is going crazy, barking, lunging, whatever. Maybe you've stopped having people into your home. And the, and the thing that we get asked all the time is, hey, Denise, we need to come to your obedience class because we need to socialize our adult dog because he's afraid of other dogs. That is not the place to help your dog like other dogs, right? I'm going to try not to say socialize, but that's not really what we're talking about. So how do you make these exposures for your already aggressive dog slow, safe, and short? Well, around here, I would tell you to go um, maybe downtown Keene, like during the day, early afternoon, go when the weather's a little cold, go when the weather's a little lousy, because there'll be less people and there'll be less dogs, and that will help your dog. If you've seen any of the videos prior to this one, you know that I don't like spiders. And so if you were to put me in front of 100 spiders, I may not scream and yell, but I may be terrified inside going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And you might think, oh, look, she's okay. She's not screaming and yelling, but I am not. And that is the number one mistake people make with their dogs is they think they're okay because the dog's not growling, barking, or yelling in some way, but they're not. So you have to learn to watch for their stress signals. You have to learn dog body language. That's a huge part of this. Um, and it's not something I'm going to be talking about today. So how to keep them safe. You're going to go places when you can pretty much be sure there's going to be very few people or very few dogs. You want to see just one or two, right? So that's going to keep it safe. Keep it short. Don't have a big agenda that you're going to go downtown or wherever you want to go for an hour. Nope. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe longer if you don't see any of the things that your dog is afraid of. So if you're walking around looking for other dogs and you don't see any, okay, that's great. It's been a safe 
exposure for your dog because he's not seeing the thing that he's afraid of, that's great. So maybe you'll extend it past 15 minutes. Once you see one or two dogs, get home, get out of there. That's also the slow piece. It's not like, oh, there's a dog, there's a dog, there's a dog, there's a dog. No, 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 no. Your dog will very quickly become trigger stacked and you should go back and watch our YouTube video on trigger stacking because it'll help explain what I'm talking about here. If your dog's afraid of people, you wanna go where there's gonna be just a few people, not a lot. And you again, see a person, okay, great. See a person, great. See a person, okay, now let's get out of here and go home before your dog gets overwhelmed. All right, so socializing the aggressive dog is not really about socializing. It's about exposures, slow, short, and safe exposures to the thing that your dog is afraid of. And I want you to hear this loud and clear. The lack of socializing is not what caused your dog's aggression. You can actually start to cause your dog to become aggressive by overexposing them to the, to the things that they are so worried about. I know it seems maybe counterintuitive, but if you start to put this thought through your lens of something that you're afraid of, that might help you understand what's happening, what's happening from your dog's perspective. All right, you guys, the lack of socializing is not what caused your dog's aggression. When you're talking about how to socialize your aggressive dog, we're really talking about exposures. So I'd like to do in the comments below, tell us about a short, safe, and slow exposure you gave your dog to the thing that they're afraid of. Tell us what your dog is afraid of. Ask us how to do it if you're not sure. But use the comments below because we're on there and we're waiting for you to talk with us so we can chat back with you. All right, you guys, until next week, have fun with your dogs.